to see Stephanie McMahon back in WWE. Absolutely. Boy, it sure does feel great to be back here in Kansas City. And welcome to night two of the WWE 2024 Draft. So with the first pick in the first round, Raw selects the ring general, Gunther. And it's important to know it's just Gunther and Kaiser. Remember, Giamatti Vinci was kicked out of the group last week on a Kaiser attack. He's eligible on his own later on tonight is Vinci. I'm thankful these intimidating boys are sticking around on Raw. It looks like a storm is coming to SmackDown. The second round pick is Jade Cargill. I thought there was a chance we'd get her here on Raw. Yeah, disappointing for the red brand, but SmackDown with a... keeps the superstar Cargill on their brand on Friday nights, and obviously Aldis and company extremely happy for that result. Yeah, excited play on. Jade Cargill with an opportunity to win its tag titles with Bianca against the Kabuki Warriors Saturday at Backlash. And with the third pick Ross selects Io Sky, Asuka, Kyrie Sane, and Dakota Kai. Damage control. This is the coup for Raw Pack. Now the tag champs, of course, will defend their titles across all brands, but the Kabuki Warriors make their home now on Monday nights. There's some menaces on Monday all of a sudden with damage control. Io, a former women's champion, Dakota Kai, the criminal mind of the group. I transmit them. And with the final pick of the first round, SmackDown selects none other than KO Kevin Owens. Now Kevin Owens stays on Friday night. He and Randy Orton team up against Solo Sokoa and Kamataka. The MFT this coming Saturday in a big grudge match at Backlash in France. Here's a look at the full first round here on Monday night, day two. I like our picks. Yeah, of course. Imperium and damage control. We drafted by the numbers. SmackDown only drafted two people. We drafted six.